ladies and gentlemen, my name is Amo Shagba Wahaisen, and I'm reporting for MOU Agricultural Engineering. We are right now in Cross River State, the Bubra Local Government to be specific, and we are here at a local milling facility to assess it for possible upgrade. And we are starting right from here because this is where the entire chain of processing starts from. When fruits are being received from the field, so we don't currently have fruits about to be processed at the moment, but when they are being received from the field and subjected to undergo fermentation so that the fruits can be loosened from the bunches. Once the fruits are being obtained from the bunches, they come straight here. Here in the local system of oil palm processing is where the boiling takes place. Water is being poured here, the fruits enter here, it's been heated until they are soft enough to move to another area. So this is where it starts. That was the boiling chamber. So you come along this way. So we look at other areas. This is a storage. This is a water storage capacity tank for taking care of water supply to the entire mill. So after the fruits must have undergone boiling and are soft enough, they are being brought straight to this very chamber. This is the digester. Under normal conditions from the way this place has been made to be, the boiling or cooking of the fruits that takes place in that drum section is actually supposed to take place in here. The source of heat to boil the water and to cook the kernel, which, which is crudely done over there, should have actually been done by this guy here, which is the steam boiler. Though also of a local construction method, firewood or other sources of fuel predominantly that needs to be burnt would have been placed in here to supply enough heat. Water is being introduced here. and when the water is being boiled to this extent of producing steam, the steam is now being transferred to the boiling mechanism here. Often people will call it kettle, but you can also call it a sterilizer, which is the standard technical name for it. And when it is fully cooked and sterilized, then they are being opened and it is being sent to the digester. In the digester is where the massaging or maceration takes place to further soften the missile cap layer of the oil palm to enable the extraction of oil to it. From here, this is mechanically being operated apart from an engine and from there we come to the batch press. This is manually operated. It is not easy work to do this. As you can see, the young man who is doing this is looking very muscular. This is a lot of hard work. And work can actually take it as a means of exercise. So he will be patient enough. By the time he has pressed it down to a particular pressure, we begin to see oil being expelled from the discharge tube, that is an extension of the base into the basin. So we'll just be patient enough to watch as he is turning, making turns. Uh, what you have there is directly gotten from the digester. It is being composed of fiber, palm kernel nut, and the oil bearing tissues. So there is currently a very high level of interaction. If you look at the openings on the side of the basket of the the press, you can already begin to see things coming out. So the more force they exert, the more 
level of compaction is being attained and so whatever liquid is being contained as the compaction increases is being forced to come out so if you can come closer you already begin to see the crude palm oil is already being expelled you'll soon see it flow into the basin and there you go As I mentioned it's a lot of hard work most occasions you need at least a minimum of two persons to do this There's a lot of drudgery, energy consumption in the process. Hence the presence of mechanical screw press and hydraulic presses. But for a local processor who cannot actually afford all of this, this stands to be a very viable system. You have other machines that are here present. This is the cake breaker. Hello? Here is the cake breaker, Hello? which is also being yeah. mechanically operated and its power taken from this, uh, this uh, combustion engine here. So the cake breaker is what separates the fiber from the nuts after they must have left the press. From there, the resulting fiber can be used as firing material or for some other application. Okay, you already called it, right? Over here. Okay, okay. Over here is the palm kernel okay, 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 okay. nut cracker. So once you introduce the kernel here, once it is dried, you do not bring the kernel here immediately after taking it out from the cake breaker or after it has come out from the press, you allow it to dry so that the kernel is being loosened from the shell. So this is a combined a, a machine with more than one function, it will crack and whatever is coming out is being separated. So it is expected that the cracked shells should have a lower surface area compared surface area and size to the resulting pan kernel nuts so that they are able to fall out through these openings while the kernel nuts eventually come to the end here and they are being collected at the other side. This one here, which we should have showed you earlier, it is actually a treasure. So the treasure, after you must have subjected your fruit, your fresh fruit bunches to fermentation, you can still not use your hand to detach it because of the spike, the spikes there, which are very injurious and sharp, can penetrate and uh, pierce your hands and cause very serious injuries. You bring the fruit to the treasure here, and from the treasure, it's able to set the fruit into agitation. And once the agitation is done, the fruitlet fall down while the bunch. From the retention time, the time it has to move from the beginning here to the end there, that process has already been done. And more than 90% of your fruit is out and it is being collected. There are other structures which are not here or being in use at the moment. Like where over there is a sterilizer which is not currently, sorry, a clarifier which is not currently in use. But ladies and gentlemen, this has just been us trying to assess a local farm, oil farm processing facility to see what it is currently doing that needs upgrade or improvement. So, thank you so much for joining us. We promise to bring you more exciting packages as we visit other places and even as we upgrade in the oil farm sector. Thank you very much.